In this video, we're going to take a look at the new structure tags that you can use in HTML5. Now, in previous series, we've been using, of course, the div element tag. That's the major structural tag that you can use in HTML. And you can continue to use the div element tag if you want to. In fact, many web developers like to use divs and divs only. You can also combine them. So you can use some divs and you can use some of these new HTML5 structure tags. It's really how you want to do it. Now, the thought here is that basically, what these new tags do is, is that they are more specific. So for instance, let's take a look at this first section here, this section right here. This, of course, is our header. Now, of course, we had to use a div element tag for this, and then we needed to create a class called header. Well, now in HTML5, they've got an actual header tag that we can use. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put it in right here. So we just type in header. And we'll go down here and close it. And so now we have our HTML5 header tag here. And since we no longer need to use the class, let's go over to our style sheet and get rid of the class. So we just need to use a type selector now. And there we go. And I forgot to mention, you will probably recognize this web page from before. We designed this in the CSS layout series. So that's what we're using. So we're basically converting an existing web page that had the div elements, and we're going to use HTML5 structure tags. And I think it's easier to understand these tags if you actually migrate an old page to the new structure tags. So I think that's a useful exercise. So that's why we're doing this. Now the next section, of course, is the nav bar. And that, of course, is used to hold links. And so HTML5 has created a tag just for the nav bar, and that's right here. So let's go ahead and replace that. And we just type in nav here, and we just close it. So you get the idea here. We don't even have to use classes anymore or div element tags. We, we can actually just use the name of the tag in HTML5. And of course, we need to go over the style sheet. And again, we need to get rid of our ID selector here. We're just going to use a type selector now. Now let's go down to the sidebar. And of course, it's right here. And here is the sidebar on the web page. And what we want to use for that is the aside element tag in HTML5. It's called aside. And basically, it's just content that is usually to the side of the main content. Our main content's right here, and our sidebar is right here. So that's how that works. So let's go ahead and put in the aside tag right here. And then we'll just close it. And let's go over to the CSS and update that. Good. Now, there's one more section. Of course, that is our main div section right here. And you can actually use a couple different types of HTML5 structure tags. But the main one we're going to use is section. I think that's the good one to use here. Because this is used for a general purpose container, basically the main content. And that's what this section is. So let's go ahead and place that right here. And let's flip over to our style sheet and update that. Good. So let's save everything up now. And actually, we'll keep the existing page up here. So we'll load a new page. And then we can compare them. So let's go ahead and load this in Chrome. And we'll expand this out. And there you can see they look exactly the same. That's what you want to make sure, actually. After you do the conversion, make sure they look exactly the same. Things haven't changed. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you.